Hello guys, welcome to OSX86 Steps. Today we bring you another tutorial on how to upgrade a Lenovo laptop Moto Z570. Uh, this is going to be a basic upgrade. Uh, we're just going to upgrade this laptop with a 500 gigabyte Samsung uh, solid state drive and we're going to add another 4 gigabytes of RAM. This is a PC3L 12800S because this way we can get a better experience when we install Mac OS Mojave in this computer. We will do that in the next video. So if you have this laptop, continue this process. Uh, so let's get to it. What we need is a Phillips screwdriver and a flat screwdriver. Uh, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna flip our laptop so the screen is facing down. And we're going to remove all of the screens of this cover that it's on, on the bottom. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to remove all of them. They are not going to come out, so just unscrew them. Once that's done, with our flat screwdriver, we're going to make a little bit of pressure in here. We're going to pull this part up and we're just going to do it uh, a little bit in here and it will come out really easy. As you can see, it, it already came out. As I told you, the screws are not going to come out, so, so it's okay. Just leave it in there. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to add a RAM. So, we're going to add our RAM, pull these locks to the side, and you're going to be able to easily remove it. And I'm just going to put it in here for a moment, because I want to put this one uh, on the second slot. Make sure to find the right side, because if you do it in the wrong side, it will just not fit. So, just uh, find, it, find the right side, and we're going to insert it and we're going to make pressure until the pins can cannot be seen or can barely be seen and then we're going to push it down and we're going to make a little bit of pressure until you hear a clicking sound from these two locks that are on the sides and we're going to do the same thing we're going to make sure that, to press it until the, the until the pins cannot be seen and we're going to just push it down until we hear the clicking sound. So now we have to remove this screw in here with our Phillips uh, screwdriver. We're going to remove it. Uh, carefully pull it up and it will come out. And now all we have to do is that we have to slide our hard drive up. Just uh, make a little bit of pressure and slide it up and it, and it will just come out easily. And with, with this, uh, you can use this thing here just to 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 make it easier for you to just grab it and now we're going to use the same caddy off for our solid state so what we have to do now is that we have to remove these four screws in here right so so for now just let's put our laptop away and remove these four screws it's okay if they fall now And we have our four screws in here so now carefully take this from the sides and just gently let it fall in your in your palm and it will come out easily now we're going to unpack our solid state drive so so let's unpack it so yeah just carefully take your your solid state and we're going to put our solid state on the caddy. Make sure it's on the it's from the same side that as the other one was. The way you can check that is by going to your laptop and see how it will go. If you see, if we put it like this, it will fit, right? 
So it has to be facing down. This on top. So now we're going to put back the four screws on the side of on, on the sides of the hard drive on the caddy. Once we have screwed the caddy to the hard drive, we're going to put our, our solid state back to where the hard drive was. Now we're going to make sure that these two are connected. So we're going to slide it down until we see that it's connected. And we're going to put back and we're going to put back the screw that holds the caddy with the laptop. Now it will not come out and we have already added our RAM and we have already added our solid state drive. So, so basically all we have to do now is to put back in here this, this cover. Make sure to, to secure them all. So yeah, we have finished upgrading our laptop. Now it's ready to install macOS Mojave on it. So in the next video, we will show you how. So thanks for watching our videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep updated with our next videos. Also, don't forget to leave your comments to help us do a better job. And if you have any questions, head to the osx86.net website and post your questions in there and we will help you the best way we can. So thanks and goodbye.